I am joined by Jamie from D Lake. Jamie, how are you Hi. doing? I'm great. What about you? I'm, I'm good, thank you. So, I want to talk more about D Lake. I, you guys just entered the Western market. You were at ISC West before the pandemic. Now you are back. Yeah. You have a nice boot. And I feel people need to know more about you guys since you won so many awards and you're one of the top manufacturers in China. So, the floor is all yours. Yeah, this time we bring new products to the show and now we have the security sensors. We have developed our small home devices like this one is ZigBee. So we have a gateway and all the sensors here, the smoke sensor, water leak sensor, a smart button and temperature and humidity and the door and window sensor. And they are all working with this indoor monitor and we have the uh, smart home application for the security and if it strikes the alarm the security alarm will be sent to the indoor monitor and the app we have the app this one is the app and uh, let's see how it works if we send the alarm will sent to the indoor monitor and the app and we will receive a notification and all the information are listed here. We have the like the battery, uh, battery uh, status, and you can check the logs. And if it's off offline, you will receive a notification. Or we have the anti temper warning and smoke detec detector alarm. So how are all these sensors connected together? Are they wired? Is it a wireless? Connection? A wireless. It's yeah, all wireless. It's all wireless. Okay. We have the batteries inside. And what about this one that you have right here? Uh, this one is the video station we developed. It's a slim one. As you can see, it's very suitable for some small villa. And you just need to press it and make a call. And you will call to the indoor monitor. And we can answer the call here and unlock the door. Or we can take a screenshot or record the calling. And you can, it's not only a ring, ring bell, it's, it's also an intercom. So you can connect it with the locks. Oh wow, okay, yeah. so it's a small, a smaller version of your video intercom basically, right? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> All right, why don't we move on next up to the sure. IP apartments? Sure. I'd like to see those. And this part is for the apartments. Okay. We have some multi-residence uh, big buildings. We have many residents living inside, so we need those keypads to make a call. We have the room number, you can press the room number, or we have the directory, the phone book. You can make a call by uh, clicking those uh, window monitors. Okay. Yeah. And, and can you can you answer, tell me unlock. Maybe the difference between the, these monitors and the one we saw earlier on the smartphone. Oh, that that one is the Android Android window monitor, and and this one is also an window monitor, uh, Android window monitor, and we have the Linux Linux one. Ah, okay. And yeah, it's a small screen, seven inch, and it's a ten inch screen. Okay, okay. Oh, really nice. And as you were saying, they're all connected together. So when you ring, it will ring on the tenant station right here. Yeah. Like, seamlessly. Yeah. And we have the cloud platforms. You can use this cloud platform to manage all those devices. You can configure on the cloud remotely. And we have the app, which is called uh, Smart Dynamic Smart Pro app. And I can show you the yeah, Smart please. Pro app. Please do. Yeah. Here's the Dynamic Smart Pro app. And we can use, the end users can use this to unlock the door. We have many kinds of uh, unlock methods like QR code. We can use this QR code to unlock the door. Uh, if the, the camera is on, we can let it scan. And it will unlock the door. And we can also create temporary QR code. Uh, as you can see here, you can share it with uh, your visitors. And you can oh, wow. set uh, uh, the times, the period, and we have the Bluetooth unlock. Yeah, I tried the QR code before when testing your products and honestly, it's so yeah. practical. Being able to share a temporary key to the visitors or people coming to your building is I think a, a really great idea. Yeah, it's convenient for visitors. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to show you how to uh, configure our landline feature. This is a very important feature of our products. It's a value added service. 
let's see how to configure it. We can configure it on the cloud or on your app. We have the core settings for mode, three kinds of core mode, only app or only landline, and call the app first, then transfer to landline. We can choose, like uh, for example, if call the app first, and you fill in the first landline, and let's see what happened. Okay, now the call forwarded to my app, and I reject it. And if nobody answer that, it will keep on calling. And then one second, it will call to my phone. This is like a phone call, right? And we can answer it and unlock the door. Yeah, you can see that. Yeah, I see how many applications it can be useful because you don't always have access to your application. So being able to transfer that to your lane line make it yeah. way easier to open the door mm -hmm. to a visitor. No, it's pretty great. And now let's go to the IP Villa. I want to see those. Yeah, sure. An IP Villa, you can see we have many uh, different kinds of uh, buttons. This one is a single button device. And this one is a, a mechanical button with, with numbers. These numbers can be used to unlock by pin code or you can change the mode to unimode. You can press the room number, which means this door station can support apartment solution. Oh, really? Yeah. So, and is this all part of the cloud too? Or all? Yeah. So, okay, so you can link them to the cloud on yeah, the application. You can add all those devices to the cloud so you can manage them remotely. And how, how do you manage them? So do you have a platform that you're using? Yeah, we have a cloud platform. You can manage them on it. Oh, wow. OK, so it, everything on the same platform, so you don't have to download a bunch of things. It's just all my DNAC products are there, and I can go one by one to uh, Yeah, that's add. right. OK. Mm -hmm. And this product, we have the multi-button, so you can configure different residents. And you just need to press it, and we have the net tag. So you can, uh, you can write your name on it so the visitors know which floor are you, are you living in. And now we are designing a new uh, module, okay. which you can extend it to many buttons. It will come out this year. Okay. So to, when you have multiple residents, you can add on this so you yeah, can, uh, you can okay. add more. So for every model that for you have those, For those two. For those two, okay. Yes. Oh, that's great. And how many add-ons can you add? Uh, because it, we are still designing it, yeah. so let's keep it a secret. <laughs> a little teaser, maybe. Yeah. And now, what about this? And this one is our in Android Indoor Manager, and you can use you can use this to call the in Indoor Manager, and your app will ring uh, simultaneously. And because it's an Android one, so you can install some third-party apps. And on the home screen, like this one, you can click it to monitor the device. Uh, that's, yeah. And you can change, you can switch to other uh, villa stations. You can monitor them. So you're able to switch to any IP villa intercom yes. and be able to monitor it. Yeah. So this one looks like the one we saw in the smart home, but just a bit smaller. Would that be right? Yes. This one is a smaller version, seven inch. Mm -hmm. And we have a cross splitter. You can click it to monitor IP cameras. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. And it can support 16 IP cameras. So any kind of IP cameras, we're able to put them on your monitor uh, here? Like, like the, uh, the popular one, Hikvision or Dahua, etc. Oh, okay. mm -hmm. that's great. Like you said, they're pretty popular. So I'm sure everybody will find news with them. Yeah, that's right. Two wire apartment. So this yeah, one is for the retrofit because for some old buildings like uh, in European European countries or American countries, they don't want to uh, rewiring or they all want to use the existing wires. Okay, so yeah, you yeah. Can use the two wire, and it's very simple to use. We have the distributor, and you can see channel one to seven. You can connect it to the devices like Indomiter or door station, yeah. so it can support seven. And okay. we can find there is a may in and may out. You can mm -hmm. connect uh, to other distributors like this one, 
okay. and up to 20, which means you can connect 140 devices in total. Wow, okay. Mm -hmm. So all these devices are pretty much what we've seen before, but the two-wire version. Yeah. Okay, so I, I mean, it just shows that you have multiple solutions for multiple markets. Because it all depends. Like, yeah, that's if right. you're in Europe or in America, it can be different. So having the possibility to switch is pretty nice. Mm -hmm. We have the different solutions. Uh, like, we, we have the solutions for uh, the two-wire and IP intercoms. And for IP intercom, we have the uh, solution, three, three solutions. One is with the indoor monitor. You can choose to install indoor monitor or not. And the second one is uh, you can use the door station only with the app, so you don't have to install indoor binder. Mm -hmm. And you can use the landline feature, we just introduced that. So Jamie, how can we find Dinaik and any last word you would like to give to all our audience that are watching right now to have like a global view of ISC West and Dinaik as yeah, well? Yeah, we, we have a website for our global customers and you can visit our website. And we are open to, uh, we are seeking our cooperation with our uh, global customers. Like we are looking for distributors and welcome you to contact us. And we are open for the cooperation. Well, again, thank you for the tour and I hope you have a good show. Thank you. Thank you, Jamie.